Hi everybody and welcome back to the day before. Today we're going to peaceful from up here. Today we're going to play more Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem. And the last couple of times that we have played, I know we did not play for very long, like 10 minutes. If you didn't catch the first two episodes, go ahead and go watch those. But today we'll play for a little while longer than that. So, Hopefully, we'll get some good gameplay in today. All right, let's play, you guys. Hi. I'm done talking, okay? Oh, yes, that's right. She doesn't want to talk to us. Whatever. Must be done. Now, that's handy. Oh, okay. So, we found some rust be gone, you guys. Hiking the Patagonian Highlands, Outback Safari... Survival Guide for the Rainforest of Myanmar? The Perrys have a real taste for adventure. Yeah. Interesting. So, last time... Oh, what's that? <laughs> Found it. Oh, that's an Easter egg, you guys. <laughs> okay. The Perrys recycle their paper waste. Good on them. Wait, what's this? Someone must have been upset. They tore this note up. Uh, let's look at it. How do you look at it? Can't use that here. Well, where can, can we use that? Use that? Oh, okay. So you right click on an object to use it. I forgot. And now we assemble. What I was saying is that in the beginning couple of things of the game, a frenemy of Nancy Drew's named Deirdre Shannon asked for help on a case and she's going to take the lead because it is her family that needs the help. So Nancy's going to help Deirdre because May, the person that we tried to talk to earlier, has been accused of setting fire to Hathorn House, which is an important house in the town and historical. They're in Salem, Massachusetts. So this game will teach us about the Salem Witch Trials. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Now, I have played this a few times, but it has been a while, so it may take me a minute to remember stuff. Whoa. Uh... It also, like, takes a while to get used to the movement in this game because they're using a new game engine. I don't know what the game engines were before, and I don't know what this is called. I think it's called the Unity Engine, actually, or something like that. But the gameplay is a little different in yes, this newest Nancy Drew game. But... Why tear it up like this? Right, it really doesn't say much. It just says, I know. There's nothing on the back. Okay. This cozy fireplace hasn't been used in a while. Hmm. This cozy fireplace hasn't been used in a while. Yeah, you just said that, Nancy. Hi. So, I found this letter. 
What is that? I found it in your trash. It says, I know. Yeah, I can read. <laughs> so? So I don't know what it is. Don't go through my trash. Right. I'm done talking, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Are you ready to leave yet? We don't have all day. What were you actually doing before you picked me up from the airport? What right. do you mean? You gave May a non-answer when she asked why it took you so long to stop by here. A non-answer? Yeah, because I went to the police station. And? And they're still going through the evidence. And when they found out I was May's cousin, they started... laughing. So they think she did it. Everyone does. So, I went to check out the Hathorn house myself. But I never went inside. The ghost? What? No. There was some weirdo there who told me the ghost was going to steal my soul. It was totally creepy. And then I found out that everyone in this town believes in ghosts, so I... didn't enter. Well, whatever or whoever it is, there's an explanation behind it. Did the police give you anything? Anything at all? They told me there's a Judge Danforth in town, and he's going over the particulars of the Hathorn House estate. I found his office, but he kind of never let me enter his office. Believe me, I tried. I know him. Not well, but enough to get through his door and have a conversation. All right. Are we going into town or what? Sure. Who could gain something by burning down a house? Insurance claim, maybe? Possibly. Means, motive, and opportunity. We need to start interviewing. See if anyone checks off those three boxes. And in your experience? It's usually something much more personal. This tour sounds interesting. Don't tell Tegan that's your plan. It'll give us a good overview of the town. You mean I want to meet the real witch of Salem? Yeah, I do. She might know something. I wonder why Tegan doesn't like her. You don't have to investigate everything, Drew. Olivia steals Tegan's visitors, sounds like. You really want to do the dumb tour? You don't have to come with me. Side by side. Gotta be honest, it does sound more fun than the museum. Yeah, a call from Man, our boyfriend. How you been? Thanks for finally picking up. Uh, sorry. Nancy Drew's boyfriend is Ned another case, huh? You know, you should really enjoy yourself more, Nance. Life's too short to be working all the time. This isn't work for me. It's fun. Besides, crime doesn't take a vacation. Speaking of which, how's yours? <laughs> Ned, come on. Yeah, once uh, Sounds like you are having fun. Uh, yeah. You know, who Nancy is Cara. that? Too crazy. Ned. I miss, you, Nance. I miss you. Hey, give it back. Two. Nancy, I'll call you later. Call you later, Nancy. Well, that was. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, that was real interesting. Me and Deirdre are going to have to chat about this later. All right, looks like, oh, what is this? Text messages. Okay, okay. 
talk to Tegan and talk to Judge Dan for. Oh, and here's a cutscene. Visitors, let's check it out, guys. You know the story of the witches of Salem. Those poor souls were caught in a time of fear and greed, and they paid the price. They may have died, but witchcraft lives on in Salem. Oh, this should be interesting. The world would have you believe witches were not real. I'm not talking about old, ugly women who curse their neighbors and fly on broomsticks. The truth is, magician? witches are real. They have always been real. They are alive and well. They are powerful, carrying the secrets of the world beyond the one we see. Ritual, mystery, magic. Sweet. Most exist now only in secret, and they may be standing among you even now. It is said that in Salem, a coven of witches settled in recent years, set on revenge for the deaths of the Salem witches. Their ritual, one midnight on Halloween, unleashed the angry spirits of the past. That's so cool. <gasps> do that thank you now if any of you are interested in the real history of the witches of salem i provide self-guided tours through some of my favorite locations in town and perhaps you too will see one of the restless day even austria used the same kind of stage magic she's using thief there was a thief what were you doing there visiting a spooky old castle you'd have liked it do you Regularly fly to Europe for investigations? Sometimes. And if you want to learn about being a witch, come forward. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Me? Never. Well, nothing too bad, I hope. Did you know that in the Malleus Maleficarum, ginger hair was the sign of a witch? You're my kind of people. I'm not nearly as talented as you are. Aw, oh, shucks. You're making me blush. <laughs> oh, there it is. Now I'm turning red. You truly are a witch. So to become a witch, do I need to take a test or get a diploma? <laughs> a true witch is not made with pieces of paper. She is born to it and will feel the call. Bureaucracy is for persecutors. We don't need permission. We don't live by the rules. <laughs> Anyway, what can I help you with? How did you perform that trick? <laughs> a witch never reveals her secrets. It's against the witch code. A code? I thought bureaucracy and rules were for persecutors. Although, if you take my self-guided tour, I promise you will learn at least one secret about being a witch. Do you really believe some modern witch coven unleashed ghosts on Salem? About eight years back, there were rumors of a coven that they performed a ritual to return the dead witches to Salem to seek out their revenge before the witches moved on. Is there any evidence of such a coven? Ever since then, ghost sightings have gone through the roof. Salem is now considered the most haunted place in the country. Interesting. You think it's a coincidence that the former home of the Hathorns was set on fire? You know, I'd really like to visit Salem, Massachusetts sometime. How often do you do this show? Most nights. It gets busier around Halloween. And I'm sure you can figure out why. How about the night that the Hathorn house was burned? <laughs> you look a little young to be working for the police. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing like that. We're just curious tourists. Good. Because I've already spoken with them. And so, okay. you were here. I was out of town. Did you girls know that Salem is haunted? There's a ghost here. If I'm you go sure. on my tour, you'll learn where you can find it. could the fire have started? I heard there was not a single living soul in the house when it started burning. Keyword, mm. living. The world is composed of two equal parts. Dark 
and light. The light we see every day. It's the trees, the people, the birds. It's our world. You can even see it at night. The dark Interesting. Interesting. It vibrates just underneath the light. But if you were in a place like Salem, a place where a painful history permeates every surface, every crack, every brick, and every tomb, the dark will appear. Usually when you least expect it. That's why they say, don't be out past midnight in Salem. Because the dark may reach out and take you. Also, did you know that Salem has more ghost sightings than any other city in North America? If you want to learn why, you should go on my tour. I got it. I think I should go on your tour. You huh? lived in Salem for long. <laughs> Born and raised. So you know the Perrys? Of course. Not well. If you are looking for them, Tegan is at the museum. She works there. Not well. We're staying with Tegan. I figured there was some history between you two. That was a hmm. long time back. We don't talk much now. And May? Yes, I know her too. Not spoken to her for a long time either. But you've heard the rumors about her. May is a troubled girl. And sometimes such girls get blamed for things that were not their... I don't think she burned down the Hathorn house if that's what you're trying to get at. People with mundane minds look for mundane explanations. Yeah. You have a point. Talk to you later. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Talk to you later. Well, how do I do the tour? Okay, Deirdre, you're right up on me. I'm gonna try to get away from Deirdre. The road has completely collapsed into the sinkhole. No wonder oh my they closed the ground is still crumbling. So there's a lot of uh, character uh, chat in this game. There's a lot of cutscenes. I think I said in a previous episode of this let's play that Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Is that all let's she's going to say? Okay. Uh what was I saying? Um There this is like uh Watching hey, a movie, sorry but about uh, like an interactive We're in the middle movie. of installing a big showcase. So, what have you seen in town so far? We decided to do the real witches tour. Oh, you talked to Olivia. What's with her getup? Witch? Street magician, maybe? <laughs> Everyone has to make a living. Is she telling the story about a coven living here in the recent past? Yeah. Why? Just bad taste. Olivia is quite the local character. I hope you don't mind if we do the tour. I want to see more of the town, and finding out a place's old superstitions is kind of a habit I've gotten into. I'm excited to look around the museum. Of course. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, can we go that way? I don't think Closed so. Closed off. Looks like they're preparing a new installation. Yeah, so this is like, kind of like playing a movie. Rather than uh, playing a video game. And the previous Nancy Drew games were a lot different. There was a more gameplay it seemed like. So let's go ahead and start the tour and then I will leave you off there. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Yep, I'm trouble. Talk to you later. What well, here. This tour sounds interesting. There. You're welcome on my tour. Thank you. Okay, so Salem Sinkhole. 
let's make sure we do this correctly. And we have more uh, messages or something? No. Oh, okay. Whatever. Ah, Deirdre, quit fire it! Thornhouse. We all know certain renegades in this town know something or two about fire. May Perry, you don't think she'd do it again, do you? She was so young. Do it again. Wouldn't surprise me. Creeping around back alleys with her hood head down. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Hmm. Wow. Well, with her history, she's bound to already be in the sights of the neighborhood watch. So we'll find out soon enough. My thoughts exactly. Gossiping bunch of people. The road has completely collapsed into the yep. sinkhole. You no said that before. The ground is still crumbling. The road has completely ah! collapsed into the sinkhole. The road has completely. Ah! Okay. Oh, there, watch your step. In recent years, these maws into the deep unknown have opened. There was once a vast network of tunnels beneath Salem, used by smugglers during the Prohibition era. Most would have you believe that these tunnels are now collapsing. But you have to wonder if there could be something more sinister behind these sudden maws into the underworld. <laughs> Alright, so that's how you, uh do the tour is you left click on the tablet and then you click on these little raven symbols and then to see the tablet you right click on it and see how the Salem sinkholes has been crossed off so we'll do more of that next time on the day before when we do another let's play of Midnight in Salem. I really enjoy this game and I like playing it with you guys, so I'm looking forward to it. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.